this is Cookie with Miss G, and chicken quesadillas are on the menu. This is what you'll need to make my easy chicken quesadillas. A bag of boneless, skinless chicken breast, butter, a can of diced green chilies, flour tortillas, and queso blanca velveta cheese. The first thing you'll need to do is cook your chicken. I'm going to be cooking mine in my Instant Pot. I like to cook mine in my Instant Pot just because it's quick and sometimes I come in and I can just throw a frozen bag of chicken in and it'll cook just fine. Um, you can cook it any other way you would like. You can boil it. You can also bake it in the oven and if you want to do it really easy, just do it. You can uh, use a rotisserie chicken that you buy at your grocery store. But I'm going to cook mine in my Instant Pot. So I'm just going to give it a splash of uh, chicken broth. And I'm going to put my lid on. Make sure it's set to sealing. And I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. And it'll be ready in a little while. Okay, so my chicken's done, so I'm going to release my steam. And as soon as all my steam is out, I can open my Instant Pot. Never, ever, ever open your Instant Pot without letting the steam out first. Okay, all my steam is out, so I'm going to open my Instant Pot. Be careful because it's hot. My chicken looks nice and done. I'm going to pour the excess liquid off and then I'm going to take two forks and I'm going to shred my chicken. So I'm just taking my forks and shredding my chicken. And shred it up real good. Another reason I like using my Instant Pot is every time I've used it, I haven't found any of those little gristly pieces in my chicken. I can just shred it and not have to worry about all that gristle. So that's why another reason I like to use my Instant Pot to cook my chicken. Well, especially when I'm putting shredded chicken in something. Okay, so I've got all my chicken shredded up real good. And I'm going to pour in my uh, chicken broth. And I'm going to add green chilies and just mix those in with my chicken. I'm just mixing those together real good. Okay. Now I'm just going to sit this right here beside my cheese and beside my butter and my quesadillas. I got my um, griddle out and I've got it plugged in and it is heated to about 350. While that's getting a little hotter, I'm going to go ahead and slice my cheese up so it'll be ready. Because once we start putting these quesadillas together, it comes together really quickly. Okay, I'm just going to get some little slices going. And this cheese is that Velveeta cheese, so it's, it's kind of sticky. But it will be so good, you'll be glad you did it. Of course, always make sure you wash your hands before you start cooking. Cause we use our hands a lot when we're cooking. We don't want anybody to get sick. Okay. Let me wash my hands. So I have my butter and I'm just gonna roll the wrapping down and I'm gonna get my tortillas ready. And I'm just gonna do this. Put my tortillas down. I like to get that good butter coat on one side. It makes it taste really good. And I do about three at a time. Now I'm going to take a slice of my cheese and I'm going to just put a little bit of cheese on each one. And this cheese melts and it goes a really long way so don't worry about it not looking like it's a lot because it'll be more than you think it is. I just put like a little little handful of the chicken mixture, chicken and um, pepper mixture on each. 
And then I take another slab of cheese and just put a couple little pieces on each. And then I flip them like this. And that'll make more room for you to put more tortillas on. See how pretty and brown they get from the butter? And you're going to flip them. And I usually just put a few over here to the side to make sure that my cheese gets good and melted. And then I just continue the process. Like I said, it goes fairly quickly once you get, get started. So be ready and have everything ready to go. Keeper. I'm going to need a plate to put these on. Will you grab me a plate, please? Get one of the big oval ones. Hmm? The big oval. They may not be clean. I'm, they may be in the dishwasher. Keeper, come here. I'll look because they're usually on the top. Hold this. Thank you. Be careful when you're doing this because it can you can burn your fingers. We'll have to flip those again. They weren't really ready to flip. I'm going to go ahead and flip these again. Make sure they just get a little bit brown on the side. I don't see one, so I just got to do That's fine. Just get something to put them on. Okay, I'm just going to move my instant pot over. Okay, I'm going to flip these over. See how nice and brown they look. And you can see that the cheese is melting really well. This cheese is getting melted pretty well. And it'll continue melting even after you take it off. They'll be nice and gooey. Okay, see how these look pretty and brown on both sides? So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them off. But please be careful, because it is easy to burn yourself. But, I don't know, I guess the older you get, things don't burn as bad as they do when you're a kid. I'm going to put some more on and cook the rest of these up. You just continue the process until you're finished. This is our finished product, chicken quesadillas or whites for supper.